Thanks. Let's go to Robert. You're live with Stephen A. What's up, Robert? Robert, go ahead. What is that, Yo, hey, man? Go ahead, man. The fact, I don't know who to blame. Steve, Steve Kerr or Steph Kerr for shooting that shot, man. Almost a good call, but we do not shoot that shot. No, I, ain't gonna, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. You, 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 you okay? An oldie but a goodie. A throwback to when Stephen A. Smith asked one simple question. You know, you sound like you've been drinking this early in the morning, bro. Nah, I only You sound a little bit slurred in your speech. You don't sound like you straight. I don't understand you. Weed is legal in D.C. I got you. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. No, you just admit it. You want some weed. You called up the show while on some weed. I asked you if you were on something, and you said weed is legal. I'm assuming that means, Stephen A., I ain't breaking no laws, but I called your show. Ha! So guess what? Goodbye! Call me when you're a bit lucid and more clear. I don't mind weed smokers. You are perfectly fine to do it as long as you ain't a professional athlete and it's costing you money and getting you suspended. Or if you calling up on this show to the point where you slurred in your speech like you punch drunk because you high. So because you high... Goodbye! An overreaction? Yeah. Hilarious? Yeah. Now this opens up the Pandora's box for me. What are some of my favorite episodes of Sports Radio Callers? LeBron James, he is not even close to being the best player in the NBA. He He's is not even close not to even being close. the best player. He is okay. overrated. Okay, who's ahead of him? Uh, Derek Rose. Okay, who, who else is... is... Dirk Nowitzki. I could go on. I could give you 10 more guys. Give me 10 more guys. <laughs> oh my God. Via show favorite, 670 The Score. This caller said he could name 10 guys better than LeBron James. For context, this was in July of 2011. All right. Dwayne okay. Wade's definitely in front of him. Yeah. His own teammate. Yeah. Okay. That's, so, you, so far, you're at two. You're at three. No, you're, you're, three. At, you're, you're at three. You need seven Durant. more. Okay, four. I, I definitely put Durant ahead That's of him. That's four. You need I six more. I definitely put uh, Dwight Howard in front of him. I definitely put Kobe in front of him. Right now? Yeah, right now. Come oh. on, open your eyes. He's more of a clutch player. To be fair, there's good reason why I love these clips. Get back to the top ten. Do that first. Yeah, we need to finish four. that we first. We need four more. Oh, yeah. I'm, stop I'm, saying, oh, my God, and just yeah, answer you the question. you got to stop saying, oh, my God. It's a bad habit. It's like <laughs> repeating a question. Yeah. Seriously, you'll never get a real job unless you, if you do that. You repeat questions to somebody, they'll know you're a pudwack. Are you if you serious? say, oh, my. Yeah, I'm serious. Hell yes, I'm Where's serious. My... Because Chicago sports radio rivals New York for some of the worst callers ever. What do you do for a living, my friend? Uh... None of your business. Ah, yeah, I want to know what the that job is. is. You are so I want to know what the Ten guys better than LeBron. Four, go. Four more guys who are better than LeBron. Oh, my God. Brandon Stop saying Do it, dummy. Do it. Aldridge. Who? LaMarcus Aldridge. <laughs> yes. Who was the one you said before that? Brandon Roy. Brandon Roy has no legs. <laughs> okay, we've heard enough. I got another throwback. Pete, you're on What's Right with Nick Wright. What's up, Pete? Hey, uh, I never call these shows, but uh, I just thought I'd give you a quick call here. It's, it, this is simple mathematics. Blacks are the kings of the cheap shot. How about Nick Wright? Yeah, the same guy who's on Fox Sports 1. So he was a staple in Kansas City, Missouri. I'm saying black on black, black on white, black on Mexican, whatever. Blacks take the first shot, and it's usually some cheap shot, because that's just the way that's how, they have no self-control. That's just the way they roll. Like Nancy Kerrigan. She was beat up by a big black dude. Or Roger or, or Mike Piazza had a bat thrown at him by a big black dude. And here is part of an let's say discussion he had with a caller. Kareem Abdul Jabbar, same thing. Hit a dude in the back of the head. It's because they got no self control and they gotta be regulated in this. Hey way. Pete, what do you do for a living, man? Doesn't matter what I do. No, I'm just curious. You know what? You know what I do I'm for a living? I'm gonna, I know what you do for a living, and you can't tell the truth, right. or else you'll get fired. I'm gonna guess. Right? You're, I'm gonna guess you're in between jobs. <laughs> yeah, that is exactly right, Nick. Now, I would kick myself in the nuts if I did not throw in the legend Mike Francesa. You do this show at the, at your home. Do you, uh, my question is, do you do it in your underwear? I'll hang up and listen. Uh, if that's what you're excited about, I can't help you. Sorry, Brian and Harold, New Jersey. What's up, Brian? 
Yeah, hi. Uh, you know, you call me at a bad time right now. I'm kind of, I, I just ate some. All right. So there's a, just a dope who's uh, home from school today. Go go read a book. To be clear, this is where callers actually shine. It's interesting what sports radio is and what it has become. Even with podcasting, it's still going strong, and you still hear a lot of this stuff to this day.